welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We have had a couple narrow scrapes uh, in the last episode, not the least of which was this very creepy encounter with this young man right here and his erstwhile uh, demonic spiritual parents. Not exactly sure the situation going on there, although he did recognize the name Theriel, who is like the, uh, the manifestation of the forest. Uh, that has been corrupted. So we're going to have to mention this little encounter to our druid friend when we get back to camp. But that's a future consideration. For now, we are hot on the path of the Cult of the Absolute. Now, our friends, the Harpers, back at the Last Light Inn at our base camp here, want to launch an attack on the cultist camp. However, I would like to do just a little bit of preliminary scouting just to sort of get a lay of the land see what we're dealing with, judge if there's any further preparations we need to make uh, before we make ourselves committed to a specific path. But I am excited to wreck another Camp of the Absolute. Of course, we um, did a number on the old Goblin Camp uh, back in Act 1. Yearning for the moon. So much has changed in our fair town. The moon used to shine so brightly here. We'd all stand out, our shoulders bared, our faces upturned, drinking in her blessings like milk. Such darkness now. I must watch the moon in secret from my window or late at night when the town's asleep. Sometimes I wonder if I'm the last sane person left in Wraithwind. Well, looks like there's a little promontory here that we should probably take a look at. Oh, yes, for a couple reasons, it turns out. Love it. All right, very good. Gold and bronze ring to sell here not too long. We really need to be saving up our money, though, because there is a lot of good stuff that we want to, uh, to buy not only for Gale, for learning spells, but also some new weapons we want to get. Carlac, there's a lot going on here. Let's check the outhouse here. Uh, dirty toilet seat, yep. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Are they gonna, they gonna try to tip it over while I'm sitting down? Just a classic prank among friends, right? Alright, this is probably... As close as we dare get. I don't want to trigger anything irreversible. Yeah, I see a I see a brazier in there. Let's just see if we can take a quick peek. Okay. Yeah, we probably want to go back and get the Harpers to assist us. So let's go back to the light, last light in right here. Uh, let's talk to our Harper allies, and I think we are ready to go ahead and launch an invasion of the uh, the camp, the Cult of the Absolute. I'm not sure what else we would do at this point to prepare ourselves. We are all elixir up. We are relatively full on resources. We've spent a couple things here and there. Shadowheart's doing extremely well on spells. Penelope, less so. <laughs> Karlak has three rages, le rages left, which is good. And Gale is pretty low on spells and is already out of his arcane recovery. So, you know, some are good, some are less good, but let's jump in. Say the word and we set the ambush in motion. I say we go. Uh, you lead, I follow. Splendid. I'll mark your map should you lose the way. Harper's with me. Stray no more than an arm's length from your course. Depends on the arm, I would think. You know, for what an arm's length would be. Cool, this is fun. Keep steady. We're closing in. Doing a full-on tactical invasion with our Harper crew. Everybody keeping up? Yeah, 
Yeah, we had not explored this little side path here. Perfect spot for an ambush. Get into position. Ambush, huh? Okay. What exactly are we doing here? Hang on. Before we go too much farther, so this will basically freeze time. Uh, which I want because I want to take a look at this. Talk to the Harpers at the ambush site. Okay. So we should get the opportunity to set up here. Let's take a quick look tactically at what we're working with. So they're going to pass along this path to get to their campsite, it would seem. All right, so what's a good strategic position? Everybody's fighting here. So we probably want to put... We want to throw Gale up this ladder, I would think. Yeah. We'll go ahead and have him... Uh, Dash. I don't know if all this is strictly necessary. But we'll have him up here to survey the scene. And you know what? Let's have Penelope up here as well. Um, very hard to see, isn't it? We'll have her next to Gale as well. Uh, Karlak is probably just going to rage, so we'll put here relatively close to the front. We'll have her hide. And then Shadowheart, probably the same thing, but just here on the other side. We'll have her hide over here. Uh, I don't know where the dash action went in my little... Oh, here it is. Okay. I think we are good. Oh, no. Let's split everybody up, Karlak. Okay, guys, I just positioned you exactly how I wanted you. <laughs> All right, Karlak back here. My face protects me. Shadow heart right here. Um, Gale's little elemental companion will be next to Karlak down here. Gale. I'll stick him on the front edge of this corner, which leaves Penelope free to speak. Okay. Uh, cool. I just want a little look. Let's do this, I guess. Oh wow, look at this guy. Every day, my queen. Whoa. Go. We'll wait for your signal. Your faithful stand ready, Majesty. Soon we'll march. Soon the world will bow to you. Whoa, he's got eyes. Like extra eyes. <laughs> Web ass. Something moved up there. Want me to drag it out? Hmm. Stay hidden. Keep watching. Stay in the light. They do not go into the dark. Didn't figure something as big and ugly as you for a coward. Oh. No. They will not go into the dark. Whoa. Stop. Okay. They will not become shadows. They will not feed the curse. Forgive me, my queen, but I had to before the dark got any stronger. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Should we attack? We could fade into the background until they pass. No, we should probably. Should we ambush them by, by talking, or should we just attack? Uh, signal the Harpers to attack versus us emerging from the shadows to attack. I say we... Ooh. 
tough call. I say we just attack. Heretics! Blasphemous in the dark! And roll initiative. Touch them! Kill the Drider! Take the moon lantern! My table! Whoa, sanctuary. No, that's fine. Okay, wow. This is quite a start. Um, who do we have going on down here? We've got this guy. Let's see, what does moon shield mean? Protected by the light of the moon, moon lantern. Oh, okay, that's fine. Brawler Vez is already dead. <laughs> cool. All right. What do we want to do here? We could use some of our Nido Burrito arrows that we've collected so much of. Arrow of Roaring Thunder. Cannot harm Sanctuary. What does Sanctuary do again? You can't be targeted by enemy attacks or spells. You could still take damage from AoE conditions. Condition, condition ends of affected creature entities attacks or harms another creature. Okay, cool. So I can't attack him, but I can attack his friends. Can I hit all three of them at once? Not quite. But I could do something like this. No, I'm not going to react. Oh, they, they both saved on them? All right, well, that was a little bit of a waste. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well, end turn, I guess. I fear neither shadow nor death. Okay, Shadow Heart. Shadow Heart, get in here. Um, we're going to cast Spirit Guardians, I think. Yeah of radiant damage. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get right into the thick of it, right here. And now I'm going to cast Spirit Guardians. Radiant damage. Hopefully I'm hitting this guy. Hmm. Didn't quite... Didn't quite hit him, unfortunately. Uh, bonus action. Yeah, we'll go into a spiritual weapon. That's fine. We'll do it right here, next to this uh, melee guy. Why not? Speaking of melee guys, let's go ahead and take this one down. Ooh, or not. Fine. No god can Whoa, what happened to Karlak? Is she not a part of battle, or what? Doesn't seem fair. You just got totally skipped. Oh, there we go. Okay, I don't know why that happened. Um, who's left? Um, let's see. I could just reckless attack this guy, honestly. Okay. And I already have advantage for whatever reason, so I don't even need to reckless. Cool. And then let's um, let's rage. All right, Gail. What are we gonna do with you? Firebolt on this uh, this fool down here. Um, yeah, probably. We're whopping two damage. Great. Spiritual weapon, do your thing. Ten damage. That's good. He's gonna get him to tack off on Karlak. Oh, barbarian versus barbarian. Nice. Reckless attack. Oh, she can tank it. It's fine. I'm not worried. Cloud of Daggers on Menace. 
No, we can survive it. That's fine. Opportunity attack for sure. Oh, good job, Shadowheart. Harper Lissandra. It's fine. Multi attack. Oh my gosh. Cutting words, yeah. Yikes. I want to save save my uh, Harper friends if I can. All right, anything. I've got a one fourth level spell being dimension door. That's not super helpful. I could do this melody though. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna be prone if I jump down here. Hmm. Let's see what we have down here. A gust of wind. Yeah, exactly. It's wonderful. Mage armor. Let's go through our scrolls here. Phantasmal killer. That's not bad. We try it on this big, big guy right here. It's saved. Oh, that's really too bad. Bonus action. I don't really have a good bonus action, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm concentrating on Spirit Guardians right now. Guiding Bolt. I'm in melee, so that's not a great idea. What what level one do I have? Command? Um, grovel? 55%. You know what? Let's try it. Ooh, cutting words. Let's do that. Oh, they still save. Yikes. That's frustrating. Okay. In turn, I guess. Um, let's take this guy down. Once and for all. And then... Let's get as close as we can to this one over here. Um, we could do Frenzied Strike. Why don't I have any casting spells as blocked? Okay, it must be some sort of uh, effect that this, this guy has. Make it Bleed, Daze. Can I hit multiple enemies at once? Yeah, it looks like I can. Cool. When I crit, that's good. Okay. And with Underdog's Bravery, I still have advantage. So we'll just go to town. And bonus action. Frenzied Strike, for sure. Nice. Ooh, that was a nasty firebolt right there. One damage. Good job. Oh, Gale, Gale, Gale. What am I going to do with you? Bone chill, maybe? 55%. It keeps them from healing. Are they considered undead? I'm not sure if they're... undead or not. Let's try it. Okay. Pretty good. Spiritual weapon. Let's use their concussive smash attack. Saved somehow. Of course it did. Ooh, hang in there, Carlac. Cast Sanctuary on themselves again, huh? Well, that's problematic. Break your concent target's concentration and silence it. 
cannot harm them. Hmm. If I were to do like that and try to get it to... Yeah, this arrow of thunder. Is there a way I can do it where I can... Hang on, let's switch to this mode. Is there a way I can do it? I can, I can just hit the spider. Yeah, let's try it. Did it work? Oh, <laughs> it did work. <laughs> That's hilarious. I mean, okay. I'm not sure what good that actually accomplished other than just moving it, but... Um, cool. Alright, end turn, I guess. Oh, thank you. Alright, we've got a bunch of spells that we can use. So are you considered undead or not? No, just drow, I guess. Spiderweb, fanaticism, they deal extra psychic damage. Okay. Let's do a uh, mass healing word, I guess. To try to save some of our allies. It's our last third level spell, but... That might be appreciated. So let's heal you. Oh. I just healed everybody, I guess. Okay. That's good. And that was just a bonus action as well. So for my action action, uh, I can't do Guiding Bolt, but I can... Do get them in Spirit Guardians. Nice. 22 damage just from that. Sanctuary is still up. Um, Guardian of Faith. No. Polymorph. Maybe. What's level spell? It's a fourth level spell. That would be a lot to do. Hmm. Let's do Invoke Duplicity. I think. So, Channel Divinity... Yeah, invoke duplicity like right here. Oh no, that dropped spirit guardians. That was a that was a misplay for sure. Can't harm them. But let me go over here. Searing smite. No. Okay, we'll just post up here. Right, Karlak for sure can't do much of anything. I've got it. Since we can't uh, we can't harm this guy. Which means she's gonna come out of her rage. Don't love that. Hmm. Yeah, but it can't really be helped, unfortunately, because I've got nothing else to attack. So I guess that's that. I guess she's no longer raging. I wonder if Dispel Magic would remove the Sanctuary. Um... Let's see. Thunder Wave would be nice. But I don't think I can get there in time. Man, I should have had Gale down here. Kind of regretting that at the moment. I ha I no longer have a Misty Step, because that's exactly what I would do. If I had one. Um, can I send items in between party members? Because I know I have a scroll of Misty Step somewhere on me. Yeah. Send to Gale. Ooh, yes. Okay, here we go. Hang on. Hang on. We're going to Misty Step right here. And then we're going to Thunder Wave this sucker. And only he should be affected. Oh, but they saved. Ah, it was a good idea. 
That spiritual weapon, I mean, yeah. Here we are. Nice. Okay, they're out of... Um, they're out of their sanctuary, so now is the target of opportunity. Let's just do a straight up a bow attack here. Uh, yep. Five damage. Cool. We're just going to town in this guy, aren't we? Long rest. Any cool abilities that we can do that are like once a short rest? I don't think so. 45%. Let's just do a... Ooh, Sacred Flame is 40%. Guiding Bolt is 20%. Um, they would have an opportunity attack on me. I guess let's command... to grovel again. 55%. Let's see. Did it work? Oh, I think it might have worked, actually. So I've got advantage on my attacks on him. Let's do Searing Smite. Man, this guy has really struggled, hasn't he? Hunter's Mark on there. Alright, Karlak. Uh, I've got advantage, so here we go. Miss. Crit. Okay, I'll take it. And Frenzied Strike. Miss. Man, what a tease. Magic Missile, I'll take it. Man, these guys are going to steal my kill. Oh, no. Cool. Uh, Forty-five percent. Gale, can you bring us home, please? Crit. <laughs> Crit on a Firebolt. All right, everybody join up. All right, let's go check in with the uh, the crew. Glad that everybody a survived. I won't soon forget. And in such favored company, no less. Go ahead, examine the drider. The lantern's there for the taking. Cool. And a neat weapon here. Ooh. A drow elf wielding this weapon deals an additional damage against restrained target. That's very specific. We'll send that to uh, Shadowheart, maybe. And then the moon lantern. Uh, each framed facet of the lantern glass is pierced. By lances and long tendrils of eerily beautiful moonlight. The lantern gives off a chilly glow, protecting all in its vicinity from the surrounding shadows. Incredible magic. I can feel the light lifting the shadows, even those within me. Be safe and be brave. We expect no less. Cool. We you are both of those things. Pixie trapped within. Oh, really? These fey creatures are infamous for their trickery. Sometimes playful, sometimes malicious. Oh, please! Oh, golly! Me, oh, my! You must release me or I'll die. This lantern only lights the way when I am hurting night and day. Um... Legends tale of the Fae trapping people, not the other way around. Why are you in there? My pixie dust is bright as day. My injuries can light the way. Hmm. Quite clever. And cruel, of course. But creatively so. That is cruel. Uh, what's this? Uh, well, who are you, first of all? My name is Dolly Thrice. Now won't you free me from this vice? I need protection from this curse. If I release you, will you help me travel through the shadows? It would be my pleasure, truly. Once I'm freed, I'll help you, duly. Hmm. What's this mechanism at the base? I dare not name it, newfound friend. The faintest touch could spell my end. I really like the the rhyming. <laughs> um. It does seem cruel. 
I'm nervous that if I release them, they're just going to leave and we'll be in the lurch, but you know what? We've come this far by being um, by being generous and kind, so let's just try releasing them. And Karlak liked it. Finally! Been trapped in that coffin with no one but a mad rider and my own farts for company. <laughs> Did me a good turn there, didn't you? What do I owe you? Well, um, I need to get through this shadow curse. Can you help? Sure I can, but will I? I hope you will. Yeah, sure, why not? Here, give this bell a shake. Speak the magic words and you'll get what you've earned. Protection from the shadow curse. What more could a dingus want? Hey, is that me? You're I'm a welcome. dingus? <laughs> Okay. Good, I guess. A pixie. Curious little thing. Oh, trust in a little pixie dust. I inspired myself, apparently. <laughs> a filigreed Feywild bell. Where? Um, investigate the moon lantern and find its power source. Cool. Well, where is this bell that I have now? Um, tarnished with age, rings with a mischievous giggle, not unlike its pixie enchanter. So I guess I should keep that handy, right? So how does it work? I just, I just like, I ring it and then it'll come and, and they'll come like, take care of me or what? Just a regular lantern, alchemist fire, a hand axe, don't need that. Sharp Eye Laura. Take both of those things. Warrior Gronad. Very good. Don't need any of those. Cansif, another goblin. Good. I don't see any harpers so far. Whenever you deal fire damage, you gain two turns of heat. Ooh. That's a Gale, although he's got better gloves to use. You know, I'm pretty proud that we did this battle. And uh, didn't lose a single ally. I'm sure if Will was here, we would be inspired for that. But sometimes being really good at fighting is its own reward, you know? Heavy chest. All right. Well, not for long. Uh, DC 10. Okay. Oh, a rare miss. Oh, never mind. Sorry, I forgot guidance was a thing. Uh, okay, well, it's anticlimactic. Cool. Let's check our quest. So we found a moon lantern to protect us from even the deepest parts of the Shadow Curse. With it, we can safely re uh, reach Moonrise Towers. Okay. I guess we should go ahead and ring this bell just to figure out if it works, huh? Been blessed already, haven't you? Move on with your life. Oh, <laughs> the shadow curse cannot affect this creature thanks to Pixie's protective magic. Got it. So I don't even need a lantern. I just it's just on me all the time. Moving ahead. That's actually really nice. So it freeze up a like a hand so I don't actually have to carry a lantern which is what it seemed like I would need to do otherwise all right cool well I could go through a bunch of these trunks ooh I will go onto this one I will uh, see if I can get up here uh, let's climb on here. And then maybe jump up here. Move this sack right here. Okay, fine. Move this barrel over here. Now climb on this. And then jump up here. Beautiful. And then we'll lockpick the this. Get guidance. And the Hammergrim Mist Amulet. 
Ooh, interesting. So be the ability to cast Fog Cloud. Okay. Uh, let's check this uh, trunk. All right, this should be fine. And let's turn on this campfire. A little more homey, right? Um. Okay. Oh, those are the those are the people we already fought. Okay, cool. So let's check now. Um. What's our primary objective? I guess it's to go to this this little area over here, the House of Healing, right? Why don't we go a bit further up the road where this whole battle went down? Um, just so that we can see how far we can get. We've got this toll house thing. Uh, we want to go here to the southeast, I think is what I'm getting from this. All right, so this is the pretty thick Veil of Shadows. So we've got the Pixie Blessing. Is good. Another Shadow Root Sack, I'll take that. Ooh, this looks like a little secret area. Oh, nice. And this as well. There's all kinds of chests to be found here. More potions of healing. Amazing. Honestly, I don't even feel like I really need to long rest at this point. Or short rest, rather. I will need to long rest eventually. Uh, wow, look at this massive crossbow. That's truly impressive. Uh, looks like we can get to it from another way, but we don't need to do it right here at the moment. Looks empty. We've got a little forge over here. Maybe some. Maybe I need more pockets. Maybe some more stuff that Damon can use for uh, forging, potentially. Okay, maybe not. Uh, rusty great sword, rusty short sword. Ooh, uh, and a, uh, what is this called? An onager, I think? Like this catapult type thing? Okay, a letter of surrender. General Ketherick Thorm, it is with heavy heart that I must announce the surrender of the Harper forces and its allies to your dark, dark, dark Justiciar army under unanimous agreement. Harpers work against villainy and wickedness wherever they find it. So states our code, and so here have we acted. But I also know all too well how the statement continues, but they work ever mindful of the consequences of what they do. We cannot be party to the suffering of the people of Wraithwin, and indeed of the great loss of life that this war will visit upon the Sword Coast, and perhaps beyond it. So it is written, and so let it be done. Kelvin Aronson, on behalf of the High Harper Council and its allies, uh, two words are slashed across the bottom of the scroll. Surrender declined. Oof, that's Any rough. Interviews? Ooh, dead get the Yankee. A silver ingot. Let's send that to maybe Shadowheart. Honeyed ham. Don't really need that. And described to get the Yankee slate. I will read. Um, the map has been etched into this intricate disc. The risen road winds through a mountain pass. Within the hills is nestled a sizable temple. Within the temple, the get the Yankee people have established a stronghold. Pictographs reveal their mission to retrieve a polyhedric relic on behalf of the get the Yankee queen. Yeah, I. I know a thing or two about that, I will say. Send that to Karlak. Oh, I haven't cast uh, Speak with Dead in a while. A oh, corpse too damaged. Actually, you know what? I should probably go back and cast Speak with Corpse on some of the guys that we we killed up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... 
honestly, before we go into this, what looks like another major area, we should finish exploring over here. Let's go back to the Shadowed Battlefield. Let's cast Speak with Dead on the, uh, the enemies that we just killed. Right through here. You know what, I should probably go ahead and do Cast Disguise Self again, just in case. Uh, let's see. I'm a Drow now. And I'm going to cast Speak with Dead on this guy, perhaps. Karnas. Ooh, that's the intense. regards you lifelessly. Okay, um, how did the Shadow Curse come to be? The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Okay. Um, where are you from? Rise. Okay, stupid question. How did you trap the pixie and the lantern? Always. Many fushes. Us. The loudest. Huh. Um, what were you doing? Shepherding the faithful, carrying a lady's light. Um, who are you? Raised, forgotten. We are tried. Drows who are the spell's power wanes. banished from you Drow society. More questions. I think that's the idea there. Is that they seem to have no more utility to society, so they just go out and do whatever they want. Or not whatever they want, they do the bidding of what they're instructed to do. Alright, speak with dead again. I don't expect that the goblin will have much useful information for us considering that they are well the not highly intelligent you lifelessly oh, what am i even looking at where are you from Franklin's settlement yep he's dead who are you working Absolute. for okay laura Trekker. hunter Okay. Um, what is the Absolute's plan? The corpse remains silent. Okay, who or what know. is the Absolute? New beginning. New order. All right, I've heard all of that before. Okay, well, we did our due diligence in speaking with the dead. And so now we want to go to the south east. From where we are, that's up this way. Yeah. So this is the direction that we had gone before briefly, but we're stymied. So this might be the cultists uh, camp here. Let's see. Passed through successfully. That's good. Good start. Let's be methodical in how we clear out this area. Actually, we haven't saved in a while. Why don't we go ahead and do that now? Get to Baldur's Gate. Ooh. An old map in a druidic style of what appear to be hidden routes out of the Emerald Enclave. The destination is marked as Baldur's Gate, and a note is attached. Take only what you can carry. Go through the mountain pass. If anyone falls, leave them. You can't afford to be slowed down by excess baggage. Good luck. So that was from... From the druids who were fleeing to Baldur's Gate? I'm a little confused as to who the... Um, author would be for that author and intended audience. Hmm. This 
beast didn't go down without a fight. Okay. Shadow cursed undead, which means that if we get into a confrontation, it's probably coming back to life, huh? Uh, Elegus. Oh, weren't they one of the the people from the Tieflings from, yeah, the Tieflings journal charting the journey from Elturel to the Emerald Enclave, and now on the road to Baldur's Gate. The ox just up and died. It started choking out of nowhere, then keeled over. We tried to pull the cart, but the ox knocked the wheel off when it went down. And the thing is in splinters. The others want to grab what we can and keep going, but this place feels wrong. My skin is crawling, like something is watching us from the darkness. No one else is talking much, but I can tell they feel the same. Oh, that's sad. Gored to death, by the look of it. Gored to death. Oof. Rough. Yeah, sad that the tieflings, so many of the tieflings met, you know, met such a rough fate. And especially after we had done such a good job of saving, like, pretty much all of them back at the Emerald, um, Emerald Enclave. Just to show that there's only so much, oh, critical fail. Only go, uh, just goes to show there's only so much that you can do, you know, as a hero, you know. Yikes. Okay. Try again. Let's make sure we get our guidance. There we go. Being an adventurer, you can't save everybody, you know. You can try, and I mean, you should try as much as you can, but you also have to be realistic that despite your best efforts, evil forces will conspire to cause some form of loss. I wonder if this was an alternate path to get to... Yeah, Mountain Pass. So we could have gone this way, so... Um, what's his name? That The old wizard, um, Elminster. This is probably the Mountain Pass that we would have gone through to, uh, to get here. That's sad. Uh, we can go down on this side now, I suppose. So I guess that speaks to why it was recommended we go through the Underdark. Why that was considered the easier path, because here it's possible. I mean, we would have run into the Drider and their allies without the Harper's uh, support, which we could have done, you know, don't get me wrong, but it would have been, definitely would have been tougher. All right, we've done everything up here that we need to. Let's go ahead and head back down and around here. A bunch of cages. Now, what exactly would have been kept here? I'm trying to think, have we run into anything that was needing of a cage? Looks I mean, like I guess like... Caravan came from here. Huh. So drag any more poor souls along in chains. Oh, like slaves, basically? Is that, is that the idea? Hmm. That's extremely grim. I guess we'll go down here and, uh... That scared me. And check it out. What do we have going on here? Just a chasm into nothingness, huh? No way to climb down or... Any hidden stuff here? It doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, up here to the left, I suppose. Got a little nest here, or a severed head in the nest. That's cool. What if you could cast Speak with Dead on the, uh, the head? Uh, I'll take this potion of healing. For some reason now in this Act 2 uh, level, we seem to have been get getting plenty of healing, uh, which has been nice. Uh-oh. We all failed a perception check, which means there's a trap here. 
Hang on, let's cast uh, Dancing Lights down here. Oh, what do we have here? Um, Shadow Cursed Vine Blight. Okay. I think this is going to be a battle for next episode. Where are we here on the map? I think we're probably at the edge of this particular map. We just happened to get unlucky <laughs> turning in the one area which would trigger a combat. When we come back, we will uh, put these shadow... Man, let's take a quicker look at them. These weird plant monsters uh, to rest, I guess. Exciting stuff. Uh, thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye for now.